Hey peeps, Jess here, and today we're trying out Viennetta. I remember this being on TV and going, oh, it was like that just out of reach premium ice cream, and now it's here, and I've read the ingredients, and I'm scared. The fact that it has all this chocolate and cocoa in the image, but then the ingredients say less than 2% cocoa in this box here. What is this gonna taste like? Is this just gonna be pure sugar? I think it's gonna be pure sugar with like a cocoa note. Fingers crossed it at least looks nice. Off the main block, this doesn't look like much. Mind you, it looks really cool when I pulled it out. A little dented, but still really neat. When you have the full Viennetta cake, you have these really cool ribbons of ice cream and the thin chocolate layers. And now I understand why I've looked at the gourmet recipes that people have tried to do, why those recipes have these very thin chocolate layers here. They are trying to duplicate the inside of a Viennetta, not necessarily the outside. And that makes some sense. The weird thing though, it smells like nothing. Like not even vanilla. It's just here to the kid and all of us. Cheers. Well, that was pleasantly underwhelming. <laughs> it tastes like ice cream nougat off a summer ice cream truck. There's a sweet creaminess to ice cream. It's kind of bland. It's just kind of there. Kind of just tastes like milk, to be honest, like cold, smooth milk. And there's a light cocoa flavor from the chocolate, kind of like eating magic shell. Yeah, it's fancy magic shell ice cream you'd buy off of an ice cream truck. That isn't necessarily a bad thing. It means that everything here is about the experience. Having this giant ice cream cake slicing off pieces to share would probably make it feel far fancier than it actually is. Like, I'd originally planned to film this with Pink Jess. In fact, we've had Russian knockoff Viennetta together before. I do think we would have had way more fun with it. As it is, it's better than I thought it was gonna be. My big problem is that there's an artificial note to the end of it, and it lingers. Not a fan. As it is, when I just pour melted chocolate onto vanilla ice cream at home, it legitimately tastes better. And now I've actually had it, I think it's easier and harder to make Viennette at home than you might think. Easier than that, practically any chocolate and any ice cream together will make a better version of this. And harder because it really is all about the technique. And so I made a little one. This is just layers of ice cream and chocolate that I let sit overnight. Add some whipped cream and cocoa powder to be fancy. It is really cute. Cheers. Honestly, there's still too much chocolate. I should have gone even thinner. Maybe if I was just spraying it super duper thinly in a stripe, it'd work better. But it tastes better because it's better chocolate and better ice cream. It'd be cute for giving to friends for parties. This took an hour between all the freezing and all the layers. It's just not worth it. As it is, I'd rather just wait for a local ice cream shop to make their own version or just pour some melted chocolate on an ice cream and call it a day. It's plenty good. <laughs> Still glad I got to try it. It's the kind of thing where I do think it'd be more fun with friends. As it is, it was a cool experience. Glad I got to share it with you. Actually, this was voted on by some of you in the community tab. If you're interested in voting on future videos, I post them there from time to time. Right now, there's a vote going on for Mr. Beast Milk Chocolate. It's winning. With that, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Have you tried Viennetta? What did you think of it? Or have you tried making it? I really want to know if anyone's tried making it. If you'd like to see more ice cream videos, I got some for you right here. And with that, I will catch you next time. Later!